And we back! Today we're trying to see how many championships we can win in a row if we have penalties every season. This was suggested over at the r slash KLT for Q subreddit. Shout out to out is the nothing for this one. We've been slacking on a subreddit, I'll be honest, but someone sent me this one and it is a W idea. I appreciate you. So you start off with year number one, which is vanilla normal rebuild like we normally do. Then every year after that, you spin a wheel of penalties. The challenge is to see how many championships you can win in the row fighting against the penalties along the way. The penalty wheel will be spun at the start of each season during the player retirement scene. So I only read the top two penalties and I sent it over to my boy Josh to do the rest because I wanted to go into it as blind as possible. There's 19 different ones and we're gonna continue to go, continue to sim, continue to win championships until one of these penalties is too much for us and we finally lose. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's get into the first year, which is the normal rebuild. We're starting off what we always do and that's randomly selecting the team. We're gonna stop in the three, in two, and in one. We're running with the Sacramento Kings, baby. In that 16 year drought, we got pick number 14 in this one. So since these penalties are so ridiculous, this first year I'm going all out to try to build the perfect team. I'm treating this as if it's an 82 and no challenge because I know these penalties are gonna be bad enough or, or good enough, whatever. It's gonna be tough for us. So we gotta go into it thinking that we need the deepest roster possible because the one that I did see, the one of the two penalties that I did see said release your best player. I, I, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm building a team and one of the things says release your best player, then the rest of the team gotta be elite. So that's what I'm trying to build. So my team is old up top, then gets really young. Harden, Middleton, Vucevic, and all of these dudes are one year deals, by the way. And then we got Jalen Dern, we got Jabari Smith Jr., and then we got Shane Sharp. So like whoever drafted the team was extremely confused on what direction they want the organization to go. Um, regardless, we're, we're gonna clean house and do a, a bunch of, a bunch of trades. There's nothing here that is safe. Jabari Smith Jr. as a, a former third overall pick, you should be super valuable. Four star value. Jalen Duran is really good. Three star value. Shaden Sharp, three and a half star value. Terrence Smith, no. Nope. Trey Man, two and a half star value. And Miles McBride, one and a half star. So we got a bunch of young pieces, which is dope. And then obviously Harden's going to be valuable. Middleton and v Vucevic, maybe not as much. Actually, Vucevic and Middleton, the same amount of value. We, we got to walk out of here with what I would assume to be like two superstar caliber players and then other all-star caliber players alongside them. I just want to see Harden, Jabari Smith Jr. in a first. Just just curious. LaMelo, uh, Tyrese, there's Zion. Okay, so they're getting us uh, low 90s is the highest with Z. But I think that that package alone, if I package in a couple more picks, should be good enough for us to get something higher than that 92 Zion Williamson. Like I'm shooting, I'm shooting for 90, 94 and above. I just, I always want to try to get a Ja Morant type, a Jokic type, a Luka type. I just feel like we never are successful. And a few times that we are successful, it takes everything. And I guess in a challenge like this, you got to be willing to give up everything. But bro, it takes everything. This should be, this should be good enough to get Joel and be three first round picks attached. Boom. It wasn't. Okay, we move, we move. I'm not gonna spend too much time on a singular player. If they say no to Joel, then we go We go to Jason Tatum. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go to Tatum next. You give us back DeLon Wright. Let's take some of these picks away. Let's see, trade exception, no. One pick. All right, Jason Tatum, welcome to the team. It took a lot. Well worth it if you ask me. Jason Tatum is 24 years old. I wanted this video to be as long as possible. He's gonna be on our team for the entirety of it. I mean, I mean, <laughs> that's the plan. That's again, that's the plan. I can't I can't really control that, but if it's up to me, he's gonna be on that roster for the entirety of it. Uh the next deal to be done, I mean 86 Chris Middleton is not getting us nothing other than the 88 Pascal Siakam, who's cool, but I, I think I want to get another superstar 90 plus overall player to put alongside Tatum. Three first round picks with Chris Middleton and Jalen Duran is not, not, not gonna do it. Okay. This is why I said I've never traded. That's why I never traded for Donovan Mitchell because the trade value is ridiculous, and it makes sense. He's he's dope. He's great, but um, y'all, hmm, they not the ones doing the challenge. I am. I'm gonna do the LeBron trade. You're not gonna be on here because you're 37 and you're a flight risk, as in you might you might just straight up retire on us. But you. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. It is a wrap. It oh. Um, it's it's got to be Luca. I mean, it's got to be Luca. There's nobody else that's even in conversation. I saw Joel Embiid, and I tried to get Joel Embiid earlier. So we got Luca and Tatum as our one-two. It's over. 
the rest of the roster can be can be bonds. But it, no, it won't be though because we got a we got a penalty thing. You understand? But that that was actually a ridiculous trade that I did not see coming. But I'm happy that it did happen. The rest of this rebuild, I'll probably just do a, a bunch of random deals. I'm gonna do my trade up stuff um, as we normally do. So we traded back for Jalen Duran. I oh, you know what? I don't necessarily need to throw Freddie into this trade. Can we just get Jalen Duran a first round pick and a second round pick for Franz Wagner? Okay, cool. I didn't really want Freddie. I wanted Franz Wagner. He's one of the young players I was talking about, rookie deal. He's going to come into the team. He's going to play. I don't know if he's going to end up starting. He's only got one badge in the game, which is super disrespectful. But we got we got Gordon Hayward's contract. We got four first round picks. And I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I, I know I just traded for Franz, but I wouldn't be against flipping Franz if that means getting a third superstar. Uh, so actually, let's try to do that first round pick with Franz. And this is where we give you another first round pick. This is where we give you another first round pick. And this is where we give you the last, the fourth, the final first round pick. And they still say no. Okay. So I thought I thought Z was an option. In that case, he was not. Unless there's somebody different that you would rather have. I mean, you low-key would probably rather have Yaka Pertle <laughs> than the two years of Gordon Hayward. Especially with Z, because it's not like Z's on the max deal. So I can I can maybe say that. And you don't have to give me Steven Adams. You can give me PJ Dozier or something. Deal. We got Z. And maybe we overpaid, maybe we did, but we got we got uh, Tatum to run the three, Z to run the four, and we got Luka. That's beautiful. And guess what? We still got Gordon Hayward's contract to go get another player on the max contract if he wanted to. That just makes us super expensive two years down the line. But still, I, I wanted Franz, but I think we found we're giving Franz away if that means we get Zion Williamson on the team. Our core is 22, 24, 23. Again, I can't even believe we got Luke on his roster. Okay, so let's just flip those players. We got Kendrick Nunn, Alex Lynn, try to get some more first round picks and, and just keep doing our thing until we can't anymore. This is the Trey Finder deal. That is the deal we're gonna do. Uh, I, I, our starting five is low key ridiculous. Now we just gotta build out a nice bench, uh, hopefully a cheap bench. But regardless, I don't even have a shooting guard. I don't even care. And you know what? I don't care. The shooting guard just could be almost... It, I can run shooting guard for this team and we're going to still win the championship. You feel me? That's how good these boys are right now. Um, Josh Hart's such a good player. I want to keep him around, but he's only on the one plus one. So, and I think that you'll probably... We're we going we gonna to flip him because I'm afraid that he's just going to walk. Backup center, Robert Williams, four-year deal. One of the best contracts in basketball, easily. Devin Vassell is that shooting guard. Easy deal. There we go. We got that done. So right now, we got Trey Jones and Robert Williams, but Trey Jones on the last year of his deal, rookie deal, but he's about to get expensive really fast. So I, actually, I'm gonna flip him for somebody that's on a longer term deal. Ricky Rubio is a little bit older than I want him to be. Um, somebody on a longer term deal, like a KPJ, you know, cheap deal, long deal, here for the long haul. Patrick Williams, welcome to the team. Yep, I've seen some simulation. I think Patrick Williams' boom and uh, bust rating in this game is really high. So he could blossom in two years, three years, I don't know. I'm also a homer, and I like Patrick Williams, so I added him to the team. He may never actually play. We might trade him at the deadline. I, I don't know. I just, I saw one of my guys, and I traded for one of my guys. Simple as that. I think I'm a backup shooting guard away from whatever we need to do, and we start simulating. I think we built, I think we built a really, really good roster from where it started with Harden and Middleton and Vucevic. Luckily, they gave us all the young players, all of the young players we couldn't have, could have imagined were on the team, and you know, we just turned that into a little some some and just like that, we got a, a championship quality team. I'll bring him quickly. He's young and he's gonna want some money soon, but it is Doncic, Vassell, Tatum, Williamson, and Bam. And off the bench, we have Robert Williams, Kevin Porter Jr., Emmanuel Quickly, Jay Sean Tate, and Patrick Williams riding out the rotation. This team is gonna win the championship, and next year is when the the penalties start to hit. Sacramento, we did it! We got the MVP. Oh, six man a year, we traded away. Look at that. Um, we got the coach of the year, Mike Brown, 72 wins, man. We weren't the greatest team in NBA history, but we was very, very close. Sacramento got two All-NBA players. They could have had three, but they disrespected Zion. And this is not the year that we should care about. Hopefully, we just sweep through everything. Round one is a win. Round two is a win. Round three is, is a win. And we get to the finals. We go against the Hornets, and they lose in five. Cool. Now we get to the forfeits. We knew that team was going to be stacked. Let's see what our first forfeit is going to be. My favorite number is 13. Can I look under? Nah, let's see what we get. No, no penalties this year. I swear to you, all of it gets randomized. And I, 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 this looks fishy. I know it looks fishy, but you, if you, you know, 
Number 13 is my favorite number. I got to tat it on the chest. It's that important to me. I was going to go 13. And this, this site randomizes stuff as you put it in. So this was just crazy luck. And there's nothing this season, which is ridiculous. So if it ain't nothing to really go through, I don't need to go through no draft process. I just need to reset my... I'm just going to bring my guys back. At this point, I'm just going to bring my guys back. We won the championship last season. And I don't see a team that's going to beat Luka, Jason Tatum, Zion, Bam, Robert Williams, Patrick Williams. Uh, there's got to be another Williams somewhere. And I don't Look, they trying to tell me not to give Patrick Williams that money. I'm giving him that money. Until he don't, if he progressed less than three this season, I'm trading him away. I'm be honest with you, Pat. You know you're my boy. Um, but but I just I got to do what's best for my organization at that point. Yeah, all of our guys are still here. I even got money to to bring in somebody on the mid level. I'm gonna prioritize getting my guy Gary Harris. I, okay, I can't say Gary Harris is my guy. I don't know Gary Harris, but I'm gonna say he's my guy for the sake of this video. And I'm getting Frank the Tank Kaminsky. I think he went to Bennett High School, which is not very far from where I am. I could be mistaken, but I feel like he went to Bennett. 99 overall, Luka Doncic. 97 overall, Jason Tatum. Where's Patrick Williams? He went up by three. You're accepted on this team for more than one one more season. We got we do got a decent amount of one year deals, but a lot of those are rookies or uh, rookie scale deals i might combine two of them to get somebody on a real nba contract because we're not gonna be able to pay all of those young dudes you know the young people always want want a bunch of money because of potential and you're potentially getting traded just for asking for a big amount of money i'm gonna trade for kevin herter in the first patrick i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry um i, I told you that if you didn't go up by three, you were getting traded. And then you did exactly what I wanted you to, to, to do. You went up by three and I still traded you. LGM, you can put it in the comment section. Pat, I wish you nothing but the best. But you know what? This is best for you because you weren't gonna you weren't gonna progress here. Because you were gonna be getting eight minutes per. Now you could go somewhere where you could get more than eight minutes per. I think it's a win-win for everybody involved. Back to back for Luca. Let's hope that we just keep this streak alive. Jabari Smith Jr. is average 23. Good luck, man. You know, we had to trade you away, but I'm happy you're doing great things. Hopefully, we can get through this season without a hiccup. Just like last year, we sweep the Western Conference. Jokic versus Doncic in the finals. That's kind of cool. And Doncic win. Okay, let's spin. I, mean, I guess it's not a spin, but whatever. I'm going to go number five. Let's see. Swap the minutes of your highest overall player in the rotation with the minutes of your lowest overall player in the rotation for this season, including the playoffs. Okay. That's, that's obviously bad. Because that means the two-time MVP, Luka Doncic, is now getting the minutes of... I don't, even rem I don't even remember who the last guy in our rotation was. Swap the minutes of your highest overall player of the ro in your rotation with the lowest overall player. Uh, that, yeah, that's... That, that, that's a little something-something, you know what I'm saying? That's the first one. But we might... We have the second overall pick because of the Kevin Herter trade. Wow. Big finesse gang, man. That's what we do. That's what we do. So maybe we maybe we should trade for another point guard because we know basically Luca Luca's not gonna be playing a bunch of minutes this season. Dan Vassell is a free agent because we don't we don't need this this pick, you know. I mean I'll, I'll see who's in it, but I don't think we need this pick. I would rather trade the pick away. I'm gonna trade up to the first overall pick um, <laughs> with Jalen Brunson. <laughs> they throw Jalen Brunson in the first pick in the finder, and do I get DG to PG? Hey, Lu hey, Luca can't play minutes, basically. Do I just get DG to PG? Sure. There we go. That's how you, that's how you Oh wait, it's oh it is Luca. Luca is the best player on the team, not Tatum. So instead, Luca's gonna be getting the minutes of what was um Jay Sean Tate. And Jay Sean Tate was getting 10 minutes per. So Luca's only getting 10 minutes per game this season, but we got Darius Garland to also take some minutes. So we in a good spot. Also, Jay Sean Tate has to get Luca minutes, which was 39 minutes per game. <laughs> oh, he's got to get 39 minutes per game. Okay. I mean, that ain't no big deal. Jay Sean Tate can hold his own. We still got... He don't need to take no shots. He's going to defend. He's going to be all right. We're going to be all right. But that is just on face value. That is ridiculous. We also lost our guy Devin Vassell just because we have the most expensive team of all time. Um, so that also sucks. Uh, we, <laughs> the lone student guard on the team is 6-1 Vontae Graham. We will remedy it um, some way. We Tatum is the last year of his team. Okay, I'm already scared about what this team is going to look like in, a, in one season. We have to rebuild the bottom end of our rotation uh, just because we don't have a lot. Um, as you can see, we are, we are uh, kind of, kind of.
kind of broke out here. As much as I don't want to do it, I'll bring in Grayson Allen. He's on a multiple year deal and he's making $3 million. I'll bring in Cal Anderson, multiple year deal. He's already regressing, but you got to do what you got to do for people uh, that can hoop right now. Gary Harris, welcome back. He ain't spent too much time nowhere. And just like that, we got an OK9 okay man. And the idea was we can't swap with Jay Shantae. Jay Shantae is no longer the lowest person in my rotation. Instead, it is Gary Harris. So Gary Harris is going to be getting all the Luka minutes, and Luka is going to be getting the Gary Harris minutes. So that's, that's how our lineup looks. Let's, let's see what Gary Harris does in this new role. He puts up... Hey! J J Gary Harris, come through, man. We're going to continue our streak of winning championships. We beat this team by 50-plus. Oh, Luka didn't play. Don't worry. Tatum will take the MVP award. Chris Paul is not a six man of the year. Andy Davis of his play of the year. Jay Knight, we have almost 28. We won a total of 76 games. We were better without Luka in the lineup. Darius Garland was the greatest pickup of all time. So if you want us to make sure that we didn't, we didn't change anything, Luka averaged eight points per game. He's probably going with most improved player next season. Averaged 10 minutes, exactly what we said, 10.8. Exactly what we said. And it's still standing true for the playoffs, just like it says here. And with us went losing a total of six games all regular season, I feel pretty confident that we can still do our thing and make it to the finals. DG to PG versus Evan Mobley, real real life teammates, a big sweep. And, and I got to do it because this is one of the most miraculous things. All 50s across the board as we always do. And now it is time to go back and go again. Oh, I can't tell Chris Paul he can't retire no more. Tough. All right, so now since we completed this challenge, we can go back and let Luca do his thing. I'm going to go to challenge number eight. Force lose a random number of games over the course of the season between 20 and 30. Whoa. I don't think y'all realize how crazy that is because if you get if I get 30 here, I'm already 0-30. We got 24. So we got to lose the first 24 games of the season on purpose and then put it together to win, which is bad, but you know what? It could be worse. Honestly, it could be worse. We have the seventh overall pick. We continue to finesse these GMs, man. I'm telling you, we continue to finesse these GMs. It's our guy, Gary. Gary, what did you average as a starter last season? 10. He went from two points per game as, as a 10th man in a rotation to 10 points per. You go, you're going to get traded. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to trade you in a second, but we appreciate the, the two years of greatness you gave us in Sacramento. Okay, so I'm an idiot and forgot to force trade. So I'm going to do it from this point out. We started off 17 and 5, but this is, I just forgot, I completely forgot. So that's one. This is two. Okay, I'm just going to do this. I'm so stupid. Hey, 24 games, a lot of games, dog. And we, we started off all right, but we ain't started off like crazy hot or nothing. So a 24 game loser streak is about to be terrible for us. 24 game loser streak, but I think we were, we were on a losing streak by one before we did that. So it should be 25 game losing streak. So we start off the season 17 and 29. And now the guys got to complete this and come all the way back. And now we actually just, re just losing random games now. We basically just got to not win out. As long as we end, I think we got a chance because we got Luka, Darius Garland, Zion, Jason. T like the team is crazy. We just got to get in. And we already dug ourselves a hole, but we'll be fine. We'll be, we should be fine. Shea won MVP, man. We couldn't get it for the 100th year in a row, unfortunately. We do have an All-NBA Jason Tatum. Luka's a second team. So we, we still did our thing. Of course, we got in as the two seed. So we, we turned it up. And that's all I could really ask for. Nine and one in our last 10. And I'm going to continue to breeze through these playoffs until a team wins two games off of us. And then we'll slow down our simulation. But right now, no team is even close to messing with what we're doing. We got MVP Shea. Ver oh, my God. We got MVP Shea versus two-time MVP Luke and one-time MVP uh, uh, Jason Tatum. Okay, we won. But they, they did take two games off us, though. They did take two games off us, which is a bit scary. But they... They didn't do it good enough. You know what I'm saying? You have to get more than two. All right. So I want to go to the bottom row with, let's say, number 17. Fire your couch. I know what you mean. Hire the worst coach available and change the system to the one with the lowest star rating. Say less. I don't even know how much coaching matter in the game in 2K. Anyway, this might be easy. 11th overall pick, by the way. We continue to just snag other people's first rounders and they end up being something. I'm just saying, we're pretty good at that. All right, Mike Brown, you've been great. You've won all of the coach of the years imaginable, but we got to get rid of you to hire Ed Newton. 
who's not, he wasn't even interested in being a coach, by the way. He wanted to be the GM of a team. He's got zero experience in the game of coaching. And now he's, we got to get the worst thing. And it might be defense. It is defense. All right. Well, defensive system with Ed Newton. And uh, let's see if that matters. First game. Didn't. Didn't matter. Uh, we actually got 12 steals. So if anything, it looked like it might have helped in that one. Just that, just that one singular game. Just that one single game. Who knows? But like, it looked like it kind of helped. We, we might go 82 and 0 with Ed Newton. We are learning that coaching doesn't matter. If you have Zion, if you have Tatum, if you have Luka, if you have Robert Williams, and if you have Jose Alvarado, who y'all don't even know has been on the roster for the last couple seasons, we snuck him on a mid-level exception three years, like $15 million or something like that. We might go undefeated. We, we, we might go undefeated. Back like we never left. You know the vibes, man. Oh, my God. The most improved player, first of all, you are the skinniest. The skinniest 6'10 man I've ever seen. Why they got you flexing like that when your muscles is in the negative? Our coach of the year is, of course, Ed Newton. His little brother, cousin, Sam Newton, one most approved. I just, it, it doesn't make sense. Two All-NBA first team players in Sacramento right now. Zion not getting the love he deserves in this run. He ain't made an All-NBA team not one time. But that's, that's all right. That's all right. You continue to do UZ. You're, going, you're getting your appreciation from the people in Sacktown because we go 16-0 in the finals. Dyson Daniels versus Jason Tatum in the finals. I mean, I mean, listen, it's it's about as crazy as can get with this core, bro. And, and we're, we're, we're about to run into a huge hiccup right here. Um, can we bring him back? And will we be able to bring these two dudes back? Uh, but I'm just, I'm just saying... That boy is a 92, 93, and they talking about trying to retire. Who's, whose man's is that? Trade any player that has won a championship, MVP, or been an all -NBA, on the All-NBA team, or been an All-Star more than five years. All players must fit this criteria for the rest of the season unless they win one these accolades during the season. What is he saying? Trade any player that has won a championship, MVP, or an All-NBA team. So trade my entire roster? Trade my entire roster? I, I genuinely think that's what he's saying. Anybody that has won a championship, an MVP, or an All-NBA team, or been an All-Star on all five, oh, five years. Dang, the Grizzlies got the first pick and the third pick. He's telling me to rebuild my team right now, basically. That's what he's doing. Trade any player that has won a championship. That's it. That's everybody for us. We don't like a five-year streak right now. All right. All right. It is a penalty. We built what I would say is the perfect team. Nobody's even been close to messing with us, and we got to mess that up ourselves. Now, I don't even know how you make massive trades this late into things. Please, Luca, just, just, just please tell him we got the money to sign you, and then we'll just flip you because we don't even have, we don't have the money. Let's try this. Oh, my God. I mean, well, he told us to trade these players anyway, so I guess it don't matter. But we're losing Luka Doncic. I think that is the end of our video. Um... <laughs> No Luka, no championships. That's Isn't that what they say? No, nobody's ever said that. But, like, even my my former rookie has to get traded. But we can get LaMelo. Last year of his deal, though. All right, we'll trade for LaMelo first. Yeah, this is this is about to be rough, bro. Really, really rough. Josh Giddy is next. LaMelo and Josh Giddy in the backcourt. They both have developed to be really good three-point shooters, so don't talk about it. They're, they're I mean, LaMelo's a good three-point shooter now, but you get what I'm saying. Trading for Chet. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad that we have to get rid of this team, man. I'm so sad we have to get rid of this team. Things, things were going really good with us, you know? Jose Alvarado's got to get moved. Man, it's such a sad day. We we blowing it up. That's what's happening right now. For some reason, our ownership said, not even restart because we're tra we're trading all of these players to try to get players that can help us right now. But but it's it's still weird old activity. You know, LaMelo, Josh Giddy, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Chet Holmgren is a cool core right now. We got to trade Tatum. He's got a no trade clause. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to get rid of his no trade clause because he told he told us to make the trade. Oh, we can't do it until the um, regular season anyway. So once the regular season comes around, we will trade LaMelo. And we, we signed this dude or we we uh, drafted this dude in the first round last year. He was actually a stud. And overall, he just didn't get no PT. We got to trade. We got to trade him and our guy, Jay Sean. Him and Jay Sean got it going. Jay Sean been around since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? He, he was... He's been here for a very long time, and now he's got to get moved for some bombs or something. I don't know. Sad day to be losing Luca, though. Luca was true. 
to Sacktown. I mean, as true as possible. I'm more mad that we can't use him as a trade chip more than, more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I would have been able to re-sign him and then trade him away, we would have got a big old package for a dude that's near 99 overall. Uh, or he might actually be 99. I, don't, I honestly don't even know. Now, I don't know this kid. His name is Lance McKnight. He's been in the league for four seasons, former first overall pick. We're trying to give them Jason Tatum. I, I low-key want more. Give me Keon Johnson, too. We'll give you David Duke Jr., that was that was about as far as it was gonna get. I'm gonna be honest. So I tried I tried every other option. I know we've been I've been editing around because it's a long video, but I tried every other option. That was the only thing that 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 worked. And, and now we went from the most dominant team that had two 97 and above players to our best player being a 94. Yeah, I don't I don't feel super confident. I mean, with this this first three weeks instilled some confidence in me, but it ain't like I feel like we about to dominate again. Like we've been like beating teams 4-0 all season long when we get to the playoffs and now I don't know if that's still going to be the case. John won MVP. Uh, we got our, our... Wait! Wait! Hey, I, last week we recorded a video where there was a guy in it named Arvidas Stojic. No way. I mean, he wasn't black, but we, we recorded a video. Hold on, I got to go find it. I don't remember what video it was. Bro, look at this. The first pick, his name is Arvidas. His name is Arvidas Stoltz. It's the same, same guy. I mean, I same guy, same. I mean, I know duplicate names can exist, but like this video I recorded like five days ago. Uh, that that's that's ridiculous. Um, just ridiculous coincidence. So Tatum make an All NBA team. Luca makes a second team. Mm. I don't like that for you, Luca. Sacramento, anything? No. Okay. Well, we did end up being the one seed still. 65 wins is a lot, but again, I don't feel as confident this time around as any other time. See, we already losing two games in the first round. That was something that the previous teams just didn't do. Second round, San Antonio Spurs, we're, we're down. I mean, I know we, we are not as good, but I'm not gonna try to lose on purpose. <gasps> I could just hire a new coach now. You're gone, middle of the playoffs. You're out of here. I forgot about that. You've just been sitting here. All right, we got an A-plus guy. Um, what type of lineup do you want to run? How many people you want to have in your rotation? 10? Nope. It's going to be eight. I run things around here. There we go. We back into it. Three, two, them. We'll simcast it. This could be the end of the video right here. This could be the end of the video right here because this made us trade every single one of our players and we wasn't getting adequate value. And just like that, the video ends. To the four seated Spurs. I don't even know who's on this team. RJ. We lost to Luca. We lost to Luca. Yeah. Yeah, Luca. And he's going to the finals to go against Darius Garland, who we also traded away. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? That's so fake. I mean, it's not fake, but bro, we had the, that might've been the most perfect team we've ever put together. And just like that, we lose after how many, I don't even remember how many years we were in this. We went five years. I'll take it. We went five years with penalty wheels and we won that many championships. Oh, that, that's frustrating that we lost to Luca and Darius Garland, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.